Okay, so this is what we're going to do with the hand hold. So the first position is with the swing around the hips. And we stretch it down right where the leg inserts into the pelvis and lean forward into peppermint padding. So peppermint padding, we walk the feet back so we're on the strong diagonal. We reach back and we grab for the hand holds. So bring the arms wide and we're going to swim. So you bring all over the head, press the chest down. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, bring the arms all the way to the sides and bow. Yeah, forward fold. So hands pointing up towards the sky and holding on. And then I inhale, up, lift the chest, come all the way around, press the chest down. Inhale, lift the chest first, then dive in. Arms are long and wide the whole time. And then that way. Try to just holding on with your, your fingertips instead of a wrist strap for this one. There we go. And We'll try it. No, no, just hold on to it with your hands, please. Just try this. Yeah. Inhale, lift. Keep the arms long. And then overhead. So if your leg loops are really long, this would be more challenging. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to do our push-up. Put them on our shoulders. Clasp our hands together in front of us. So now they're um, level with the chest. And now we're gonna pull the knee in and march. Pull the knee in, march. So it's creeping up towards the waist. It is. Okay. <laughs> it's making its way. Okay. <laughs> and march. This is gonna be a flexor. <laughs> you push forward with your hips the whole time. Beautiful guys. So that's the, that's the first position, which is the one-legged raises, okay? Um, so we can twist here as well, just, just swaying from side to side, which is pretty easy to do. So this would be more beginner version, right? And then we're going to come into the wide straddle airplane wings. So we return them to our hands. Wide straddle twist. So this is the, <laughs> the non-muscle building <laughs> version. Super easy. Okay. Now we're going to do this without the swing. <laughs> so now we're going to come up and release the swing. Swing behind us. So we're not going to do the swimming portion, right? We're just going to do our push-ups. We're on an angle. We're on a diagonal. But we can come into the forward folds here. Arms come down to the sides. Inhale up. Overhead, don't go all the way, then push forward, and then out again. Let's just do those. Holy moly, right? These become very challenging as well if you go forward and back. All right, and then bring the arms wide and dive in. So let's get these on the shoulders, and then push forward and march. So notice how different it is now, right? So arms come up, we lift the knee and squeeze. A little bit harder, huh? You guys feel your belly? Pressure in the shoulders. Yes, and it's opening up the shoulders. Beautiful. So from here, we start to twist from side to side. Ooh, that feels good. And then we can come into the wide straddle. So in the wide straddle, we can twist again. Nice. So in the wide straddle, we put our hips directly over our ankles. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. So we're going to get
get into a little bit of fun here. We're gonna bend the elbows. We can hang like this. Now, like I said, we could do this all with the swing at the hips for more beginner. This would be more intermediate. It's just from side to side. So it's not just side to side, but it's that angular momentum of tracing semicircular shapes. Okay, and now we're gonna try clearance. Now clearance, we do in the air, but we can also do it with the leg loops at the elbow creases. So I need to start to lean forward. And as I lean forward, I'm gonna pull my feet together. Keep leaning forward, and then what you're gonna do is start to lift, and then flip. Be gentle on the flip. I'm not gonna hit my head. No, wait, if you, tuck your, if you tuck your head in, you won't. So your back is level with your. Woo, good job. Okay. That was it. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit my head well, unless you tuck it in. Okay, <laughs> great. So we're gonna do the same thing with it at the, we did this last time, right? We're gonna do the same thing, clearance with our, um, we can always bring the leg loops up too, so if somebody does yeah. 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 If somebody That's really okay. feels like they're gonna hit their head. But we're supposed to be right on the ground. See, so gotcha. a level with the earth. So this is clearance, this is pike. Yeah. Coming to the plow. Yeah. Yeah, scroll forward and back. We're not going to do our flip this time. We're just going to stay here. All right, so let's come up, walk yourself back. Yes, good job. Okay, and from here, you're gonna slide right to the front of the mat. <laughs> and then pull up. So we do our pull ups from here. Mm -hmm. So good. Nice. Good pop. Knees. That's a lot. Isn't that great? Yeah. So Ooh. let's actually bring these one up for you. That's what I was doing. Yeah, no problem. So we can try it at different heights. So bring them up one. Let's all do that. If we bring them up one, it's harder. Let's just play a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bring mine up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's start from the beginning because I want to do the clearance not at the elbows but at the at the wrists. Okay. So we start out in the center. We're on it, so let's have our feet just, just below, yeah, the center point. Lean forward to do your push-ups. So come back, straighten the arms down towards the ground, switch to the wrist wrap. Wrist wrap. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're gonna lean forward, keep your feet up. So from here, now that we've brought them a little bit higher, try rolling back. Okay, so roll back, get your feet on the ground, bend your knees. And then you can come up. So are you lifting your head all the way off when you come back? Uh-huh. Let's try it one more time. So we're going to come here. Start to lift. push-ups. So now we're doing the diagonal the other way, right? So pull-ups, push-ups. And then why don't we just go ahead into a come into our forward fold. So arms out in front of us. Swim them back. Change to the wrist rack. Nice. So from here we trust to lean our weight forward all the way. <laughs> and then we go. 
So then when we roll back, we have to scooch our hips forward, right? So we scooch, yeah. roll, feet touch down, knees touch down. So instead of rolling forward, we're going to come back and up onto the feet. Yeah. Relax the hands, take a little break. We have these little stance 